Right, here's my first foray into FPV flying with the SEMA X8C, although I've already been inside and converted it to the, the one with auto hover, so I've taken it apart once and fitted a new board. But anyway, first thing you need to do is obviously power the transmitter. This is a little TS5813. It will take 7 to 24 volts. It's 25 milliwatts, which is the legal max for the UK. So that's the first thing. It, it, it needs power. It will... It will run on 7 volts. Conveniently enough, the LiPo in the SEMA is 7.4 volts. I could have taken it all apart again, which t involves taking off all the props, splitting the case, soldering the wires straight to the circuit board. But the easiest thing to do was, you'll see my pictures, make a slight opening on the power cable. Just solder a JST straight to it. I've put a JST on the power cable to the transmitter. So basically, all I've got to do is plug that in and the transmitter's powered. The camera I'm using here is the Firefly Q6, which is a great little camera, primarily designed for FPV flying, and it actually comes with this lead. And say, so all I've had to do is solder a JST onto that, just as a convenient way of taking power from the SEMA. So this is being fed with 7.4 volts from there. I did think about putting a little smoothing capacitor, but little test I did, I don't seem to be getting any, any interference. You'll notice this has got a cloverleaf, which is apparently a better antenna. I bought it to replace the rubber duck that came with this TS5813. So the camera is looking at my watch there, ticking away. So you can see I've got a live feed. So if we now transfer to my lounge, to my receiver setup, we've got the RC305 receiver with a clover leaf on it. We've got the receiver powered by a 2S LiPo, 7.4 volts, via a JST again. And we have got a 25 quid reversing camera monitor from Amazon plugged in by AV lead to this, which is powered by a 4S LiPo, 14.8 volts, because the monitor will run on whatever, 9 to 25 volts. All I've done to power up the monitor is solder one of these, whatever they're called, sockets, so that I can plug it straight into the LiPo. Dead easy. No switches, no fiddling about. And the other thing I had to do with the monitor was take off a female that was on the monitor end because the transmitter's got females. So I had to fit a male RCA phono here so that I could plug the receiver in. But all in all, not very complicated. So as you can see there, that is a live feed from my kitchen. Hopefully the range will be a bit more than just three meters from my kitchen. Right, and this is the live video feed you get when you're running the Git 2. And I've not had to do any modifications. All I did was plug in the lead that came with the transmitter into both the Q6 and Git 2. Just plug in and it was immediately working. No setting up or fiddling about to do. So I reckon this is potentially a good little FPV setup and very easy to set up. So just to show you the kind of finished setup, although the wires need routing or poking through somewhere, I cut a little snib out of the trap door where the battery goes. This tiny little transmitter will sit on a Velcro pad on top of the SEMA, out of the way of everything. And the Q6 sits happily underneath on this little aluminium bracket that I made. So, very simple. And with the luck, with 25 milliwatts, I should get at least the, the range that the X8C has got. So that's it. So keep watching this space. Hopefully you'll see some FPV video from me soon.